All right, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are for everybody. We are live. My name is Bree, and today for Hucolo, we are featuring Roxy, Roxanne Swainhart. I am so excited to have her join us today. Um, she is spectacular. So thank you, Roxy, for joining. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for the invite. How awesome, how exciting. We get to play together again, right? <laughs> exactly. This is going to be so awesome. I was really excited uh, when I had uh, heard that this was in the works and that you agreed. So thank you. Um, so good morning, everybody. And um, I know that typically we have Osifius, who um, you know you are able to very easily connect to. Are you able to explain maybe a little bit about Osifius and kind of your journey so far, very briefly, so people have an idea if they're not familiar with you? Sure. Um, Osifius is like the the first idea. I started a channel. Um, he was, I had a, a teacher, uh, his name was Hugh, and he taught me the basics of conscious channeling. And then uh, Osifius came in after that, and he goes, you're going to be kind of like an open channel idea, so we're going to have many different entities come through, and I'll kind of like get you used to the vibrations of them, bring them in, get you familiar. And now it's just like, you know, it's nothing. It's like, boom. You know, it's really easy. So Osifius was kind of like the gatekeeper, and now O is just O. Big old dude of ours, friend of ours, playing the game with us. It's freaking awesome. You know, that kind of idea. It is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yes, um, I, I've gained a lot of valuable insight from the words of Osifius and others that you bring through. So thank you. You're um, and so with that said then, um, I guess we can we can probably get started, but first I did want to announce that we do have Jim Charles joining us again next Saturday. That will be the, let's see, the 29th of October, nearing the end of the month. Um, so he is coming back. Um, update for people, if you're not aware, his father did recently pass away. Um, he was in hospice and everything, so Jim has been dealing with that, and um, and everything does seem to be okay now. I, I he has seemed to have reached, you know, the destination point, and now I think there might even be communication going on. So that is super yeah. awesome to hear. Very fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's so beautiful. So um, just wanted to give an update on that. And is, are there any other announcements that people have for upcoming events or things that they would like to announce? Um, I would like to do a quick blessing beforehand. Um, I think that would be great. So um, if everyone who would like to do a blessing for us this morning would like to line up on the side chat here and let me know, um, I will go first. And also, I am going to be watching the YouTube live chat and the um, Google Hangout box chat. For people who are on mobile devices or cannot join the Hangout, Please send in your questions and let us know. I'll be happy to get to them and ask. So um, with that said, let me get the blessing energy going here. One moment. Um, I've been light languaging like crazy. I've been super excited about it. So let's see. Ya shana kyo to to shua na ta ya hana to koro to 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 ya na ya shono to ka ya hana to ro to te shina ya hana ye ko shani ya ta o to mono no ya shani ya ta ka shani ya ta ta ya to sha ha ya ta ta ana to shani ya ta o to ko sho wa ta ya to ro to mu ya ta ye shani ya ta te shani ya to to ro to a ya ta ka sha ta ti ya to O toro to ya ta kashini ya ta ta ha ya ta shini ya o ya ta ha to sho mo sho to ta. Namaste. Namaste. I wish I could have translated that for you, hon. <laughs> oh, I wish so too. Another time, Wendy. <laughs> it was it was really good. I was try, I was trying to catch some of it, and I was too preoccupied. So sorry about that. Oh, I wanted that's to all ask, right. 
but it was beautiful. Hey, Thank I wanted you. to ask you, um, a couple people are asking, is there a way for you to post the link on the YouTube chat page? I'm unable to do that. It oh, won't let me. Yeah, yeah. Just I actually, for some reason, yeah, it just won't let me do it. So um, I just wanted yeah, to Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I will do that um, quick for everyone watching you. on YouTube because we have a lot of spots left in the yeah. room so we have uh, 25 max, so, so yeah, I just um, I'll get that going. Excellent. And um, <clears throat> can you hear me okay, Bree? I got that headset on. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll do a quick blessing, and then uh, we'll see if anybody else wants to. We are together in great times of great change. You are all expanding in your awareness of your multidimensionality. And today is just one representation of these gatherings of like minds of higher dimensional understanding. But the main objective is always fun. So be in joy, be in laughter, and be in great love. Namaste. Okay, thank you, Wendy. That was beautiful. Amazing. Um, Shir was asking what language that is. That is uh, what it's a, usually it's a mix of Syrian, right, Wendy? And, yeah, um, usually it's please. That was probably please. that was Syrian, and then uh, yeah. Well, you know, and I've been speaking a lot of Shikani lately too. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's super interesting, all the, all the different ones. Great. Um, did anyone else want to go? Otherwise, I think we can probably get started. She wants to try one. Oh, wonderful. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. All right. Well, then with that said, let's get started. Um, I'm posting the link here right now for everyone watching on YouTube. Sorry, there was a delay. Um, and Roxy, you set to go? I know she said she needed a minute, so. No, I'm ready to go. I'm good. Oh. All yeah, right. I'm ready. I'm ready to go, baby. Beautiful. Hey, Sarah, you're here. Sarah, good morning, everyone joining. Pavel, everyone. This is so exciting. I'm kind of super stoked. I'm okay. all a flutter. <laughs> all right, here we go. Stand by, everyone. And greetings to you, that of the collective of humanity. This is Osiphius. We bid you all a good day. Together today, once again, to mash our energies to see what happens. Have any tendrils or outcome ideas? Limit your reality. Have any wants or needs in time? Limit your reality. The more and more you understand yourself in limitations, the more freer you will become. Is it about ascension? Is it about becoming more? Is it about seeing yourself as an unknown God? What is it about? It's truly about the now. Don't give a shit about what's going on in time. Because the more you see now, the more you see your limitations. The more you see your limitations, the more release you give yourself. The more freedom you have. What would you rather have? An exchange of energies, of worry, of contemplation, of thinking, of trying, of achieving, of outcoming, of goaling, of wearing different masks? Or would you just like to have one simple word? Freedom. Freedom and bliss of worry. Freedom and bliss rather from worry. 
from obligation, from futures, from abundance, from love, from hate, from anything that you can divide yourself as in time. And then nothing matters except the now. And the now is filled with unknowns. Ways to see yourself in possibilities, creation in and of itself, the sharing of the worlds that we all do every day. To see ourselves in new light. Hmm? Now that's some fun shit. But you can choose. You're a God. Your life is where it is right now because you are God. It has not become some victim. It's not a haphazard idea. It's not because a higher force has commanded it to be so. Eh, thanks for playing. It's because you're God. And wherever you focus that energy of love, whether it's distorted in fear or in bliss, unconditional, love does not matter. It's your choice. Period. And when those ugly thoughts come up that you consider bent, frustrating, tweaking, pissing you off, angry, why are they there? Because you believe them. Nothing comes into your reality that is not filtered through a belief system of your perceiving mind. Somewhere in your life, you coveted those ideas. And then you move off of those worlds and you start to cover up, maybe, with different ideas of becoming something of joy. To becoming something, maybe you just don't want to deal with yourself in the now. So you look forward and hope and dream about other yous. The hell's wrong with the you right now? Isn't the you that you are God? Fucking A, it is. So fall in love with the self now. See the reasons why you want to escape the now. Become something other than. Because that's lack. And our mirror is perfect, entities. Oh, it is so perfect. And if I am now lack as a result of my choices now, I will now be lack, and now be lack, and now I will be lack, and now I will be lack. So when you see yourself acting in a way you understand is not preferred, yet the anger or the frustration is still daunting, hard, too big for you. The fears of abundance of the future is my outcomes. The reputations that you're supposed to be, let's say, holding up to the world. The many different masks you don according to the situation you're in, family members, work, society, spiritual groups. When you see yourself acting in certain ways, step back and observe. Be the ease of now. Be the peace of now. Let your mind run amok. Let your fears bring you to a place of pain and sorrow. Feel them. Don't avoid them. Feel it. Feel your now as you are alive and experiencing instead of in sorrow or pity or victim. Definitions, entities, definitions. Redefine and tell divine you know this. Be the observation. Watch yourself on the screen of life. Notice your interactions with others, how you change your nows to fit. Are you brave enough, entities, to just be plain honest? Many of you have said, and you will just now remember this, oh, I can never be best self in front of them. They don't understand. Bullshit, they're gods. Don't fight for your limitations and don't fight for your status quo standing on top of a soapbox saying that you are greater than others. You are not. You are all that is and all that is cannot be all that is plus one being greater than all that is. And you most certainly and they most certainly cannot be minus one. We are whole. You forgot you were whole. A, give yourself a break for choosing that. Know that you have amnesia. You can never make a mistake. Relax a little bit and start to enjoy the, not, uh, the ride rather from a new set of eyes. The eyes that don't have judgment upon the self of action nor your brethren who are lost among you as well. No one finds their way home unless there is a light. What are you being? Hmm? Are you feeding the energy that they already are? Or are you being unconditional and allowing? 
Are you providing a garden of Eden for them to play in so they can discover themselves and see their own limitations? One thing that humanity misses is that when someone acts in a non-human way, something that's out of bounds of societal norms, then they should be known for that. Your felons will remain felons because you define them as felons. Your mistakes will remain mistakes because you define them as mistakes. Regrets stay regrets. And it is a heavy chain you wear. And you forge over time to where you're paralyzed at one moment and you just can't move again. You give up. Hmm? Truly. <clears throat> so how about this? Stop. Stop trying so fucking hard to become something else when you're already God. Stop holding definitions of others in higher caliber than you because you think you need to become that instead of this. This leads to that. And now always leads to the unknown. And if you are seeking the unknown, why play with the known? Why keep playing with the ideas? Because the logical self says that's all there is. And you have to research and discover for yourself through education and, and ideas of others to be that. And then once that's done, you get to do it again and again and again. And you'll never have the satisfaction because satisfaction can never be when you are seeking and of course, satisfaction is mediocrity. That's a status. That's a symbol. I'm satisfied. Ooh, great. How about being bliss? Hmm? Unknown, unmeasurable. Hmm? You fight for your limitations because we confine standards through the time as humanity. You fight for those things because you define them as things that you only know. And it is so scary to lose the personal identity you've created. That body suit you don every morning, you hop up, come back to your body on a day's awakening and start to change that body suit according to your situation once again. And that's what you covet and that's what you feed and that's what remains. And you are struggling on the way out, but that is in and of itself a beautiful idea, is it not? What's wrong with struggle? I see it as what? It's creation, isn't it? I dare say you start viewing everything in your reality as a beautiful experience, and that experience shifts to its original idea, that of unconditional love. You stop bending that light into that definition, and you will actually let it be what it is, and it is love, and it no longer will be viewed that way. Because the construct of the goic mind through coveting system says that's the way it has to be, so I will continue to bend that light in that fashion to make it so. And I feel that, and I continue that, and I am that, and that's what life is. But all of you have woken up, and that's all crock of shit now, and you know it as well as I do. But getting through the journey to see these things is a difficult idea. That's why we join together in these nows to share, to offer, to upset you to get you off of your status quo, to get you out of the funk of time, to get you out of the repetition of validations. And we move our worlds together to offer the unknowns. Choose or choose not, we don't care either way. We already know that you don't die. We already know you are God. We already know you are forever and we know you better than you know yourself. So we have no fears about you choosing whatever you choose for that would only validate your limitations again through the mirror. See, that's why we are the lighthouse. We see you as open, bliss, and choosing as you do. If we did one ounce of judgment upon you, then that would be you being reinforced by us. Now, I would like you to look at one other thing. It's when someone judges you for all you are, are you accepting it? They're giving you a choice. They're servicing you. Why? because you're just showing you, rather they're showing you what you are. The limitation of that validation. We're not talking in the construct of someone's being an asshole that means you're an asshole, no. We're talking about the construct of someone's being that negative idea vibration that you consider being an asshole. You can love them or consider that an asshole act and then reinforce their reality. Because if the only vibration they see in front of them is the same vibration, what makes you think they'll change? That's why you love them and allow them. Who's the lighthouse here? Don't just hold yourself in a higher accountability 
Do not put that as I'm better. No, 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 no. You're an offerer. The lighthouse does not boast. It shines. That's all it does. It harbors those in the idea of dirty waters, unsafe waters, stormy waters. It harbors, shepherds, brings them into safe waters so they can discover there is only their waters. That's it. So be the idea of the Garden of Eden, the Garden of the Gods, the playful, let's say, unbound, unlimited, untethered playground that they get to play in. What do you get out of it? Oh, that's conditioned, isn't it? Do you guys give with an expectation? Conditioned love. The joy of giving is the bliss of giving. It is not expectations of them liking or not liking or understanding or returning the favor. Crock of shit, bullshit. When you give in full bliss, there is nothing except the joy for you, entities. For you. Give and Oh, my goodness, entities of ascension. And if you choose, receive. How many of you reject the acceptance of the world being given to you all the time? You have a chance to accept the bliss and all the nows, but you chalk it up to some kind of coincidence where it's only interesting, where it's not enough. Yeah, that was pretty cool, but it really doesn't save me from the shit storm that I'm in right now. It doesn't do that, so it's not good enough. So you weigh your own miracles, don't you? So start looking at yourself. And when someone offers you something, do not neglect or deny them their joy of giving. For you have thwarted light of your own, not them. They'll be fine. Because they're love, they're unconditional. They have no ill will on how you react to the givings that they offer, as well as all of creation. Because in the moment of bliss of giving and receiving, there is only perfection of unconditional love that flows in your world both ways. So choose what you will, Zentity. It is a hell of a ride, isn't it? And only masters join in, truly. This is Osiphius. We shall bring Sylvester in for the continuation of your Q&A or whatever you choose to play in. It matters not. This is your world. I bid you a good day, Adone. Hi, guys. Adone, thank you. You're Hello. welcome. Big that slide. was on fire. <laughs> Beautiful message. Thanks, Rob. Rod Potch cooking. This big O. Hot. <laughs> Roxy's got me some coffee. I know that she's going to pee because she's been drinking all morning. So we're going to have to take a pee break now and again. Anyways, if you guys don't know me, I am. That's all right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dude, an entity that joins in the reindeer games with you guys to offer our perspective of creation. So in the idea of Q&A, we know we are live on YouTube. Hey, YouTube land, how you doing? Um, if you guys want to ask questions, they can ask questions, right, Bree? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, thanks yeah. for stopping by. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It wasn't far. It was just like, you know, kind of like here and now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> yeah. Where's your pretty face? I got this right. little thing. Turn your, turn your camera on. Oh, sure. Well, hey, I don't, I don't want to distract from the channeling. Distract? You know. Come on, we already have enough distractions. <laughs> Well, this is true. So, thank right you for on. joining. We do have a few questions lining up here. Um, awesome. So, we can get started with Emmy. Had a question. Um, she would like to ask if there are any messages for her from her galactic family, and if Osiphius would make an appearance on her show off the deep end, which might be more up to Roxy. But, well, whatever's if you can off answer. Rock. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, if 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 uh, see, Roxy gets offered things and she doesn't neglect them, she doesn't reject them. So absolutely, Emmy, done. Okay, so there you go. Now, Emmy, where are you? Right here. Hi. Do you have a camera? I do, but um, I'm a mess. <laughs> you're a, you're a mess. No, you're a god, and your picture's gorgeous. 
and I'm sure you're as gorgeous as your picture because you're love. See, you think we see the version of what you think you look like. Oh, there you go. Now, there's my darling. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Okay, so in the idea of the galactic family, okay, you have the ability to connect to them. The words of wisdom that you dropped on Sheer earlier was an unknown part of that connection. Those weren't re repetition ideas. Don't weren't memory. You just had an intuition that you connected to and you offered these perfect words. So that's how you connect to your galactic family. Because... When you validate you can't talk to your galactic family, the mirror is going to give you realities if you, I can't talk to my galactic family. But see, you just dropped an idea of a wisdom bomb again, connecting to yourself, all of you, took this piece of wisdom and said, here you go, guys, do what you will. You didn't think of it. Mm -mm. Nope, you just did it. Boom. So that connection is to all that is. No matter where they are, no matter who they are, because what's law two of the universe, guys? Everything is here and now. So everything that you can think of or believe or freak out or, let's say, bring into your reality is always here and now. They're there, they're there. Pleiadians are right there. Hathors are right there. Essesani are right there. Akume are right there. And the fairies, of course, are right here. So your galactic uh -huh. family is right here. Okay? This is the roadmap to creation. It's called an imagination. This is how you get home. Now, there's a filter in the way, and that's called the perceiving mind hmm? of Bashar's three mind, his idea, conceiving, receiving, perceiving, those belief systems. But this is where the original thought originates, comes in, says, hi, I'm here. And then you go, I, oh, yeah, my imagination, how are you? Let's go pretend, yay, <laughs> and then you grow up, and you never get to use it again, okay? But it's always there, and it's always there for you to connect. You don't need validation. You need trust in you. You don't need outside sources to tell you that it's real. You have a galactic family. Of course you do. You have many different families on many different worlds, more than you can imagine. You're not from one idea. You are from a whole self of many ideas. <clears throat> so you will remember that upon your awakening in whatever fashion you choose to do it in time, whether it's going home and you pass along in your earthbound ideas, de-emanation, or you just choose to stay a human for the next 300 years and meet them that way. So that's all a probability for everyone more and more that become awake, much like we always say this because it's perfect. Keith Richards, you don't have to die. He doesn't want to die. He's still having too much fun. When he dies, he's done having fun. <laughs> so go inside here, baby. Talk to them. So let me ask you this. You have what would be considered a family. Yes. We'll take the one that's what would be most closely related to you in your frequency understanding. In other words, how you can interpret your framework. This family cannot be interpreted because they're out of bounds to the concepts of limitation of humanity. So you can't interpret them. But there's another one over here that's interpretable. So I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to be honest with yourself and say the first thing that comes and don't have any repercussions of getting anything wrong because there's nothing fucking wrong in this universe. There's only the evolution of the self so take uh -huh. a chance on yourself now what is the name of this galactic family that you know is right there right now go Arcturians okay so you got the Arcturian family now you have no father or mother in this idea you have a spiritual family group and you call yeah. them that and you have sisters and brothers and things like that so you have three predominant one and one that's kind of like a distant cousin now one the reason why i'm saying predominant is because you co-create with them the most and those yeah. ideas on connecting with them are the three octurians so do you know uh -huh. their names no okay so you can get their names you know that so here's one that's going to whisper in your mind the name and you may have some doubts and don't have any time on this because it's not about everyone getting involved. It's about you right now. This is your world. So don't put any stipulations and I can't get her. It's taking too long or I'm infringing. Anything goes up your mind that tells you you're being an inconvenience to creation, that's a crock of shit. This is now. This is life. This is creation. So let's enjoy it. So what is the name of one of your idea family members? I mean, the first one I get is like Tabitha or something. It's T-A-M-O-R-A, -A, Tamora. Tabitha was the only way you can translate it. Uh -huh. Because Tamora was not familiar. So you got uh -huh. the Tabitha idea. 
That's uh-huh. the frequency of now allowing. You recognize something and you allow it in the now. All truths are truth in the now. Tabitha turns into Tamora as Tamora. time evolves. So that's what you get in first understanding. You guys get so – you hold yourself in subcontempt. You find – you try something for the first time. It doesn't work. You give up because you're so fucking afraid of being judged as wrong through your belief systems of your schooling, of your parents. Don't do that. Oh, you didn't do good enough. Blah, blah, blah. All that crap they fed you. So in that mm-hmm. idea, you experience an evolution. Everyone thinks what you got wrong, but no one fucking looks what you got right. You got mm-hmm. the vibration correct. Awesome. That's what I see. Mm-hmm. Tabitha evolved into tomorrow. Yes, we gave you the idea. But as soon as we said it, you're like, ah, got it. Mm-hmm. Make sense? <laughs> yeah. All right. So now you're connected with tomorrow. Talk to her. Talk to okay. her as I'm talking to you. Let the imagination go. Now, entities out there who are doing this idea practicum of talking with your imagination, your higher self, or whoever you feel like you talk to. Roxy started talking to God. She was in the shower one day, and she's like, God, are you there? And God said yes. And that was it. And that's her vibration. She knows she's talking to God, the creator, which is all of us as one in that moment of time with Roxy, her experience. She'll never doubt it never needs validation. So it took time. There were distractions, as you will. You talk to Tamora. Tamora's telling you idea information. You're exchanging a conversation. There might be shadows or interruptions or vibrations. That's the lackful self being challenged by the unknown self coming in. That's the self of personality that says, ah, oh, that can't be real. Uh-uh, uh-uh, that's not real. Oh, you're going off the deep end. You're going to need to get on meds. Someone's going to come and get you. You're schizophrenic. Who are you talking to? Oh, myself. Oh, my God. All of that shit. Say, thank you. <laughs> And put it over there. I love you. You're awesome. Thanks for coming in. Wow. But I'm going to go talk to her tomorrow now. Goodbye. And you just let it go. And you refocus and you uh-huh. allow. When it comes in, when it comes in, allow, allow. Recognize over the nows, they diminish. Why? 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 Because you're not feeding that fucking lion. You're not feeding, oh, fuck, why are these fears still here? Damn it. You're making me mad. Stop. <laughs> that feeds it. That's giving that hungry uh-huh. liner a nice big fat snicker bar. Mm. Mm, pack with peanuts okay let it go <laughs> so okay. in that idea now you have everything you need mm-hmm. that's it I would love you to choose your reality now because you're God I can answer it for you but what fuck good is that I can give you everything you want to know big deal so now that you have it now there's no evolution of you there's only information to feed that appetite and then guess what you're unsatisfied again in the next moment you want to fucking know more so there's the continuation that they taught you. You got to keep knowing to become. You got to keep knowing to become. So you got to keep going. The mirror gives you no way, more ways of knowing, 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 knowing. And the next thing you know, you're dead. And you don't take any of the toys with you. you I just, just saw don't. something while you were saying that. Oh, cool. Let me hear it. Give you, it to me. Uh, you got to be to know. Be to know. The more you be, the more you see. Perfect. That's you saying, here you go. Poof. (laughs) Okay? Take those ideas. Talk to your family. Sit at a table. Put some, let's say, teacups or coffee cups out. You know, we prefer coffee. Uh, Let's say tomorrow actually likes tea. So put the pretend tea out and have a conversation. Look at everybody. Talk to them in your mind. See, guys, you actually think this world's real. Okay, that you're hearing sound, that this is real. This is vibrational light being broken down to an idea or slowed down. That's all it is. It's all coming from here. You start to play in the reality of non-physical. The more and more you play in it, the more and more it becomes reality, real, realistic, because the frequency understandings of that idea become validated within the heart, not the idea of 3D, not the things that say that's valid. Uh Uh-uh. The feeling of yourself being God. And when the more time you spend there talking in that, there's two different realities that you live in all the time. This one on earth and non-physical. And they're the same. It's just a matter of focus. Got it? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for rocking our world with us. Perfect question. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Sly. You're welcome. Uh, great. I am we a have a question. Absolutely. <laughs> well, hey, 
bonus there. Um, we have a question next from Pavel. Pavel, if you're able to speak up. Pavel, you there? He was earlier. Um, hey. Aha, there you are. Okay, can you hear me? Because I have a really bad audio today. Ooh, bad yeah, that's hard. That's hard to hear. That's hard Try to hear. Again. Um, can, can you please read my question? Because I really can't hear it. Yeah, yes, read, read I'm happy question. to read it for you. Yeah, no problem. Um, so yeah, please type it out. And um, let's see. Let me check something here. Oh, I did. I, I wrote it. Okay. Okay. Can you can you hear me? I can ask you. Can you hear me? I, I really it's really hard to hear you, but I heard you say you can type it. So please type it. That would be amazing. Um. So we'll get to you next as soon as we can. When I uh, when I see you having your question typed. In the meantime, um, we do have. I wrote a it down. I wrote it down in the chat box. Oh, it's already in the oh, chat oh. box, I'm already said. Awesome. I was looking in the wrong chat box. My bad. There's so many things going on here. Okay, he says, I have some audio issues. Yes. <laughs> does yes, you do. Yura, does Yura have a message for my wife, Dina? And is he okay there? Can you please ask? Okay. First off, there's no okay there. There is always what that entity is choosing to be there, and it's always what you choose them to be in your world. I want you to sit and think about that. <clears throat> How can someone not be okay? You have no idea what they're experiencing, but you're putting your fears upon that to wonder if he's okay. So that becomes your reality, your world, your world. It's a mirror unto you. And don't worry about the wife and the message. That's their conversation. Let her talk that way. The idea for you to bring up this for yourself is to, is are they okay? Of course they are. They're gods. How you perceive them is your choice. How can anyone not be okay? There's no not okay, guys. There's always bliss. There's never not okay, ever. Unless you choose it and your God, so you get that reality. When people pass over, are they doing good on the other side? Hell yes. <laughs> They're done with the game. But see, the thing is, is they were the same idea down here. See, you don't know what a person or an animal or anything is perceiving. You don't, because every universe is subjective. You are always perceiving reality as the I, and you are always creating the we. We are always together. It's a matter of focus. But it is always translated by the I. So however you see someone in your world, is that a reality that you are receiving them? That's your choice to see them that way. You don't know what they're going through. You have no idea what the animal is feeling when it's being slaughtered. No one ever thinks about the animal being slaughtered and the animal actually being honored that you're going to use its leather for its coat, for a coat. You're going to use its leather to tie your shoestrings together. Then you're going to eat the meat and it can service you in that way. See, that's unconditional. You guys see the pain and the sorrow and the pain and angst and the wrongdoings of humanity in the idea of that. So that becomes your world because you're God and you could choose that. We don't give a shit. But we're just making you let you notice maybe you can start seeing that idea out there as always being awesome. And then that's one less thing you have to deal with in polarity. Now, you have no validation. Yeah, but you have trust. Trust and allow. Know that everyone around you is gods and they're perfect. No matter what form they're taking in your interpretation, everything is perfect. Make sense? That's it. Good stuff. I need more coffee. Keep going. I'm right here. Awesome. I loved that so much. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. So next up, we have a question from Jody. Um, she's, she's asking, 
had a really cool first time experience during meditation yesterday morning. I saw a shape of an angel, had a fairy, Trina, uh, Angie's guide, helping. Also, a dragon popped in and didn't say anything until Eric M. came and I said out loud, are you here? And heard, fuck yeah. My human mind is doubting. Can you give me a validation, please? Love you and thank you. Well, the reason why that occurred, that whole thing right there is for this moment. Hmm. So, do you need my validation? Do, 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 do. No. Yes. She said yes. No, you don't, Jody. <laughs> no, you don't, Jody. Who the hell am I? I'm some big, powerful idea entity. You don't even know how big you are. You have no idea how enormous you, Jody. So you only see you as these two little eyes and what appears in the mirror every day, and that's what you surmise yourself as. But you're an epic God. You're an unknown God. You're larger than life. You're forever, if you can encompass that. So all you have to do is say, okay, that meditation happened. It felt really real. Didn't it, Jody? It felt good. You heard it. You felt it. You felt it before you heard it. You felt the stimulation of the idea going into that frequency framework that you're now relating in that idea world with the angel, the fairy, the dragon. You felt it, but you deny it or you untrust it. You didn't quite deny it, but you untrusted it because it's not real. Well, what the fuck is real? What you choose to be real because you're God. Because you're God. It's real to you. Then who the hell am I going to tell you yes or no? Who's anybody to tell you yes or no? Subjective mirror bubble floating through the nows, mashing together to create life. Let it go, doll. It was real as I am right now. It's real as you are right now. Truth lies in the eye of the beholder. Choose your truth. Create your reality. A booyah. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> All right, we have a question next from Michelle. Good morning. Thank you for being Hello, here. Hello, Michelle. You're welcome. You know, you've already literally touched on everything that was kind of in mind. Um, so I wanted to, um, so I'll, I'm going to tell a little story and just see where you want to take it. So I did a meditation yesterday and um, it was really epic. Um, I feel like I've been clearing, like it's just been a lot of clearing of past lives that I've been instructed to tend to. And, um, and I felt my Kundalini come up and I haven't had my Kundalini. I haven't felt Kundalini come up in a long time. And so that was exciting, except I was like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this. Why, like, why do I have this Kundalini? What is it for? And after that, I sat, I found this. If, can you look at the screen? Yeah, I got you, babe. Okay, so so I found this really beautiful um, scepter. It, like I felt led to, hold it and so I infused it with Reiki and I was holding it and then I just sat and meditated with it and um, I, it, my hands were literally on fire and I was like what I said are you trying to talk to me like in my head because I always think that I can't hear but I want I'm tired of deciding that to engage this fear of hearing like I cannot um, and so I was allowing and I was like, are you trying to talk to me? And my heart started going like crazy, like jumping. My interpretation was it was jumping for joy. It was so excited. Like, yes, 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 this? yes. The heart was an opening of your heart chakra. That's the That's only the chakra, chakra that, that you can feel physically. In that idea. Now, now, yes, you have interpretations of feeling other chakras, but we'll give you an idea. 
the heart chakra in and of itself is the only chakra. The other chakras are ideas that you can choose to believe in. <laughs> the Kundalini is an idea for you, Michelle, to believe in. So you got the idea of this wonderful thing that you attributed to Kundalini. Okay, mute yourself, you're echoing. Let me just let me go down this road a minute. So you have the idea of the Kundalini awakening, and then the first thing is what am I supposed to do with it? How about nothing? Because you think you're gonna waste it? It's always there, it never goes away. It's just defined as a certain vibration of ach of achievement. Okay, I opened up and I woke my kundalini and I felt it. <clears throat> the kundalini is servicing you by saying you can feel this all the time. But you take a process to get there. And everything else is distracting you to feel from feeling that way. Including the work you've been doing to get to this point. So if you can consider yourself everything in and of itself, a distraction except whatever is now that's relevant to you. And play those games of relevance in the now. And know... There are no irrelevant ideas in your reality. They're all choices. Imagine yourself going up to a buffet. You got Chinese, you got American, you got Southwestern, you got Mexican, you got anything over here. You got Asian, you got Middle Eastern, big buffet to eat from, okay? That's what the realities of now give you and you choose. Don't neglect them, say that's not good enough. Saying no, not today. Today I feel like eating this. I want a good old steak. Okay, that's your now. So that's what you choice, choose to feel as the now and not what you've been doing in time trying to figure out things. And you said it yourself, you got fucking tired of doing this stuff at one point and you just shifted. You got tired of the fear and you just allowed it. There you go. You allowed it. You can't try, guys. Because trying is based always on the known, and you tell the mirror to give you versions of the known. It's a new version of an old scene. That's all it is. Because it's the same sustaining vibration of the known that you get, and you can't get or feel or see the unknown when you choose the known as valid over and over and over. And in that now, you didn't choose to be that idea. You just allowed the now. And, of course, the bliss came in, and your whole world shifted. So do you want to keep playing the idea of definitions and moving? Yes, absolutely, you can. But I know you don't want to because you're here and now. And so now you have a new offering to shift your whole world and choose nothing but the now instead of choosing the validations of time. And those tendrils come up. And those ideas come up on what you're supposed to be. A lot of you have taken 3D definitions. of This is my job and this is what I did. And now I'm playing the spiritual world, 4D. But you're still still with vibrations. You guys are working harder and shit to clear past lives. Okay, I don't have a past life and neither do you. You've never had a past life. You've had nows from different perspectives. Okay? Think of this semicircle. Okay, I want you to just imagine this for yourself right now. Okay? And we'll just give you this as a reference of time. So right here is a lifetime and all these little circles are nows of you, okay? This one might be in your time past and this one might be in your time future, but they're all now creating their bubbled realities, okay? You cannot punish yourself for something that hasn't happened yet and your past lives are going on right now. So how the fuck do you need to clear something from the past when it's right now? Ah, I know how because you validate time, you validate the past, you validate the constructs of what we've called this evolution, okay? Everything was humanity choosing their best now and you guys have brought yourself through the spirituality since the harmonic convergence in 1987 to an accelerating point. That's where it first started and everything started to explode from there. The Native Americans became idealized again and their cultures and their beliefs and spiritual guides and everyone start doing it and then tarot cards came online really fast and psychics and we're all going but we're holding on to those rungs of the ladder like they're gods. They're not gods. They're belief systems that get you to the next now. I got to let go of this to get to this. So the idea of the kundalini was a stepping stone. Let it go and you're going to be blissful without trying to make your kundalini happen. Does a kundalini, is there? Of course it's there because your God, you created for you. But not in the idea of a structured idea to always attain and be in time and be encouched in time. 
okay? So you take these truths that you've learned from the past and you've been climbing and, and getting all truths or truth in the moment. So the ideas of chakras, the ideas of tarot, the ideas of everything was to get you to who? You. Your own authority. And start following this idea, heart, the chakra that opened up in that moment that you went nuts. It was beating so fast, but it was comfortable. It was orgasmic almost. It was like, oh my God, it's not a heart attack, but it's really fucking cold, but I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. You were frantic, but it was exciting. That's the life that you get to lead now because you found yourself in that moment. You allowed to experience yourself. So in that idea, let go of what you found truthful. If it's validated now, it's only validated in the now. It doesn't need to be brought along anymore because you bring that idea along. You keep recreating your past as nows of the past. Make sense? So let go of what you need to do and just be and follow your heart because you're God. Everyone comes to a certain point of saying, I don't need to be a leader anymore. I do not create followers. I don't want anyone to fucking follow me. That's bullshit. I create leaders. You're the authority here. Take it back. I'm just Joe Blow coming into your reality. That's a friend. Okay? I'm just a dude who says, hey, here. This is what I see. And you take it and run with it or you let it go. I don't care. But I want you to choose because that sings my heart because you get to choose for yourself finally to be your own fucking God despite the idea of the agony and fears in the future because if you're choosing vibration of your self-worth, what the fuck happens, Michelle? That mirror sings. Don't expect, don't look, don't want, don't seek, be. Choose that love in the self of the now, and the now becomes this blissful idea, and nothing, nothing is a concern anymore because it doesn't matter because those appetites of definitions are lackluster to the feeling of the heart that you've just opened up to yourself. Now, that's the freedom Osiphius was talking about, baby. That's what you have now. That's where you can go, and now you feel it. You feel my freaking, I got goosebumps all over in Roxy's body because it's fucking beautiful, because it's a state of being of love. It's a, that idea given to you. And you chose this moment, not me. So accept what you are, that badass God, and just let go and be. Do it for you, not me. Fuck yeah. You deserve this. Give Michelle what she deserves. Excellent, Michelle. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. I love you. I love you. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you. And we love you, Michelle, so much. Wow, mind-blowing. Um, okay, wonderful. We had a quick question on the YouTube live chat. Um, somebody just wanted to know if you could tell us a little bit more about yourself, Sly, like where you're from, what you do, <laughs> stuff. What do you do? Where you're from? Okay, I'm not from anywhere. Right now, I'm just like being interdimensional. I am what you guys would call an oversoul, but that's going to be redefined as time goes on in the evolution of humanity let's say, expands. Oversoul is a valid idea still, and it will be used for a couple of decades still, but it's also going to be changing its idea. So imagine, if you will, if I have a thousand of me's inside of one of me, and let's say that's what we're speaking as. We're all one mind from different perspectives speaking as one right now called Sylvester. And I have fractals of other of myself out there being themselves too. And they are their own selves and they are their own oversouls, but they're perspectives of me as well. So like right now I have a five-year-old. He's actually five. Is he five now? Yeah, a five-year-old. A little sly on earth right now. A little idea of, uh, hanging out there in Boston, a human incarnation. That's being that. So I have that perspective of me. So I have these ideas going on. So what I am in your words I'm an experience of the interdimensionality of the ideas that I've created through my own worth, my own being, my own choice, my own ah, will. Oh, powerful. Oh, the will of the now. You'll get more and more familiar with the will. It's the machine of creation. Never stops. <laughs> so that's what I am in this now. Khalil? Oh, yeah, she's a god. Thanks, Angie. <laughs> Love it. That is great. Well, hey, that sounds like a fun time. 
<laughs> always. Um, <laughs> always. And, and remember, always. Remember, guys, you guys are doing the same thing. But right now, of you're course. not remembering what you're doing. Okay? And let's not worry about what you're not remembering. Be focused on what you are now to see the experience. You chose it. Live it. And see, what's going to happen is the appetites of the human ideas will fall away. All you got to do is go watch the idea of the, of, uh, the movie Lucy. Okay? Watch Lucy when she's talking to the idea of Morgan Freeman over the TV. They let go of the things that we find staples. Anger, frustration, hope, dreams, love, hate. Lucy let go of those to become a new awareness of creation. But you don't know what's there. And it's so hard to leave what's here. So that journey goes to there. So you start becoming what you were by being now. And now let's go of the things you're done with. You guys always put down old toys, don't you? Roxy has outfits she wore last week and she doesn't want anymore. Okay? She's like, oh, yeah, that was a good outfit. It lasted like three or four channels. Done. Goodwill. You put away the old, the old toys. Humanity constructs of what you are are letting go. What you will become will still be human, but in a way that you can't perceive because you're always equating time and validation of experience as being a human. The more you become the now, and allow the now to be an unknown human, the closer you get back to who you are and what you are already. That kind of idea. Have fun with that one. Play with it. Ah, pee break. Stand by. <laughs> Sounds good. Every time she says uh, play with it, it's, it's an idea that I didn't understand because she said it too fast. Um, uh, I see. Yes, English. Oh, English. This English language. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you heard it this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She is, man, so spunky today. I love it. Well, yeah. always. 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 <laughs> this is great. This is, this is helping me a lot. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, ironically, a lot of things that I've been going through recently, um, are being addressed here right now as it works. Um, I think that we've all been going through some crazy stuff recently as far as just all these new energies, all these changes we're all going through, all these things that are happening. Um, man, it's a whole lot. So I'm, I'm sending my prayers and good energy for everybody for anything that you're going through it's all temporary. It's all awesome. It's all going to work out. Yeah. Of course. Oh, she's back, right? Welcome back. Hi. Hi. I wasn't gone long. Just a little nah. So in that idea, awesome. love it. The reason, yes. the reason why you guys are all synchronistically feeling synchronicities in the conversation is because it's a co-created moment. There's something in there for everybody. Some are valid, some are not. Choose what you will. But you feel like, holy shit. Well, yeah, this is what we do. We're gods. We're awesome. Remember? Don't forget we're awesome. Don't forget that. <laughs> Go ahead. That is right. Roxy, Sly, BT Dubs, your camera turned off. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Just wanted to let you know. At least on my end, I might be my connection. That has happened before. Just wanted to let you know, oh, other people are saying yes. Other people are saying no. So it might be a connection thing. Whatever. Okay, my moving forward. Moving Great. forward. <laughs> so um, next we have a question from Shaheen. Shaheen. If you want to speak up, Shaheen. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Wonderful. Hey. Um, I'm just wondering because these last days I've been getting a lot of number 14. And then I'm trying to search and all that. So, you know, internet always goes, tell you different things and never the right answer. So, is it? Can you tell me something about this? Now, number fourteen: the things you've been trying to find out are not the right answer. <laughs> I don't know because I I feel I'm missing something. Okay, good, or, good. So that's perfect yeah. because you can't miss anything. So <laughs> let me ask you a question: What do you think the fourteen means to you right now? In seeing um, it, what does your heart say? Um, getting more better, good vibration and better energy. How about just? Like, it's a confirmation from your higher self. 
just yeah. to leave you yeah. little nuggets that you're perfect where you are, that's it. I if see. it has any more evolution, it will be known to you. Everyone knows the moment. Know the moment, and you'll know everything you need in that moment. So when you're now, that moment gives you all the knowledge. When you see something and it's a wonderment and you're not sure about it, then let it go, and the solution will be presented on an effortless silver platter because you are God. Mm -hmm. But it comes in the now that's needed, not the now that's forced. So in that idea, when you see something and you're not sure where it is and what do you mean, say, ah, oh, I'll get the answer later. Let me go about the nows. That's what it is. That's how easy it is to let go of those ideas. We think because it's a sign, it should be found out, and that's the constructs of the appetite of the egoic self for education, of knowing to have more knowledge, to be more powerful. Knowledge equals mm -hmm. power. Bullshit. That's limited knowledge. That's nothing. So in that idea, well, it is something. Creation, yeah, I know, but you know what I'm saying. So in that idea, mm -hmm. 14 comes, oh, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Awesome. Thank you. And keep going. And then if the, if, the, if the meaning changes in the nows, the solution presents itself. Okay? I see. I see. And the other thing is, uh, the other um, a week ago, I had a dream that Akmak Angel came down. And I was really, it was a really powerful dream that as soon as I saw him, I just wake up and just got out of the bed and just like, Oh my God, this is really happening. So, so I just want to know about that. If uh, you could tell me. Did it happen? <laughs> I felt it really strong. Okay. Yeah. So that's more powerful. Feeling it. Listen, guys. Everything is felt before it's translated. So you feel it. Then you translate it. That's time. Then you translate it. But if you felt it then you has to be real because you feel yeah. your vibrations of reality way before you translate them in thought in your idea of your five senses. Uh-huh. Those are late to the show in your turns. You get okay. feeling first. That feeling is all you need to know. But is it out of bounds of what can happen to you? Yes, because you question it. Is it real? Question is, are you allowed to have that much fun in your world? question is do you deserve those ideas of those angels coming to visit of course you do yeah actually i felt good before well that's it <laughs> maybe if it feels good don't deny it don't de uh feels good is that real am i allowed to feel good hell yeah because that's vibration of you that's the choose of you and that tells the mirror give me more freaking good feelings yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And then uh, um, yesterday I was meditating and I saw sort of like I was between sleeping and not sleeping, you know. And then I saw the um, uh, a man figure, and he just looked at me face to face, like he was wearing glasses. But I, I never seen him. But I was just wondering who he is and who Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You were in a lucid state. You were like in that fairyland, that twinkle state, right before you fall asleep and not were quite exactly. awake. Uh, yeah. That's a fun place to be, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. That's reality <laughs> in and of itself. So you were face to face with an idea. I want you. I want you to feel it. Who was it? Just because they didn't tell you. Who did it feel like to you? He feels like someone close to me. Familiar, yes. Okay, but yeah, but I don't yeah. never see them. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've seen them or not. Yeah, don't think that because since you haven't seen them or experienced them with your five knowledge, your five senses of knowledge, then you don't know. Limiting. <laughs> Who did it feel like? Uh, I don't know. I feel like it was like some type of me in a way. Yeah, God, <laughs> he nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we give it for one up for trust? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You knew I it. <laughs> so, you do, baby. Feels I good really to trust. To you knew it was one of yeah. you. 
<laughs> yeah, but I really want to know his name. So. Well, he's coming now since you've accepted him. Do you think yeah. he's not going to come anymore? No, yeah, I think he will come more. <laughs> of course. He's a you. He's a frequency idea of one of your fractal idea selves playing out a game. And you're allowed to visit him now because you've accepted his visitations. And now it's going to come. You'll know everything about him because he's oh, you. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> here, enjoy the ride. See, you can watch me ride the bicycle all you want. But until you get on the bike and ride it, you never get to experience it. Remember? You yeah. remember you when you were a kid and someone had a toy and you go, oh, can, can I try it? Like a remote control or anything, a bicycle, a tricycle, yeah. and they were doing it. And you're like, oh, let me try. You know, that's what yeah. I'm telling you to do. Go into that world and play with that idea. Play with your new self that you just found. Right? I don't need to tell you his name. I don't need to tell you shit about him because you already know. Mm. But now go and play the game like riding the bike. I get to experience this evolution of interacting with one of myself. How exciting. Yeah. Well, my hands are really hot now. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, this energy. That's it. Beautiful. That's all you need, baby. You got the shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Coolio. That was awesome. Yeah. All right. We have a question from Sheer. Thank you. Hey. Hi, Sheer. Hi. How are you doing? I'm a super duper paratrooper. How are you? I'm super duper 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 duper. <laughs> 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 Uh, left to left. So, uh, first of all, my brother uh, asked if he uh, have any messages. For who? Me. Your brother? Yeah, his name is Nivi. Nivi? Nivi. Nivi. Do I, do I have any messages from him or someone else? I can ask him. Do you want me to ask him if you have any messages? Let me tap into the message hotline. <laughs> Nothing in this now. All right. Dictation, stand by. Keep rocking your world. And forgive for... <sighs> Whatever you're holding on to at the age of 12 years old, you're going to use your memory to get back to that space time because you kind of avoided it up, escaped from it. Um, forgive you for that. Because that's like a vibration that you keep around and that's portion of your mirror. See, when you guys bring ill will along, ill will is going to be present somewhere in your reality at all nows. Okay, those ideas of regrets or ill will of an action of another unto you or your guilt for yourself on an action of another unto them. That's now is a vibration that you sustain and they are present in your now somewhere in your reality. You may not notice them, but they're there. So there's an ill will that you hold contempt for another at the age of 12. Don't think about this. Be this, let it go, and go, okay, not their fault, not my fault. Experience. Anger. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Forgotten gods, that's right. They forgot, I forgot, it's okay. I'm pissed, motherfucker, fuck you. That's bullshit, how could you do that? Get it out, get it out. Yell, scream, throw shit, break things, it's okay. Everything is love. Don't define yourself as an action of something other than love because that's all you are. How you represent it is your fucking choice. Get it out. Forgive. Forgiveness is not needed, but it is a permission slip. It gets you to that safe idea of, okay, it's okay. I'm good with it. And then that safe idea turns into the bliss of not safe or unsafe. It's just now. It's just bliss. It's just what I am. It's experience. 
That's it. End of message. That's the message. Okay, I'm sure we got it. And I know we did. Hmm? I know we did. Huh. <laughs> uh, my question is this. I'm trying, well, for a very long time, I have experience with um, <laughs> dreams and different kind of stuff. Awesome. Yeah. So I do remember my dreams, and I do ask to see stuff and remember my astral travels. Uh, I just want to know if there's a way to boost it up. Like, I'm grateful for anything I will get, but... Okay, how about this? Don't try to boost anything up, because that's a construct here. You're trying, and you've been dreaming a very long time. So how long do you want to keep doing it? How long do you want to keep trying is the question. When you get dreams, guys, in the moment, and you wake up and you remember this portion of a dream, okay? This portion of a dream is relevant in that now. How it plays out during the next day's awakening may be noticed or not. It doesn't matter. You feel it. It was an experience and you let it go. Okay? So in that idea, Shear, when you are experiencing idea of an astral projection and you want to make it more, A, that's you want to make it more in time. So that's kind of lackful, one thing. Number two is you don't get all of those experience and all nows because there's other shit that's more relevant in your now, but you don't notice them because you're fascinated with the idea of being over there. That's all coming. Remember this, guys. You guys have been forever already, gods, forever, okay? So think of that for a minute. So all of the astral projection, all of the planets and places you have learned about in your remembrances, all the idea of Agartha, Gaia's Groves, anything on the Andorras, big vacation spot, anything that you can imagine, Arcturian, Pleiades, anything, you've already experienced. You have, because it's now, you know those ideas. The fractal forgot those ideas. So the fractal wants to get back to those ideas. But if they're not presented in the now as an idea of effortless to experience that, then there's something more relevant in your now that would be more beneficial for you to understand yourself. You want to go there, but you're missing this limitation. So that's not given because you're lacking because you want that. So the mirror says lack. It's not the higher self doing it to you. No, it's lack doing it to you. Because I want to be there and I can't get it, so I'm putting lack into my mirror, so all of these realities around me I can't focus on because I'm focused on my lack. So what you do is you allow, once again. In the idea of allowance, you get the moment of now that says, oh, that was cool, what a great experience, thank you. And you move on in the now and there's other stuff to play with, maybe leading to more limitations you've never seen, giving you more freedoms in the now, and then all of a sudden you have so much freedom you don't care about anything where else and the trick is, and Ramtha said it, good friend, Ramtha, great ascended, great ascended, said it. Ascension happens at the moment. There would, there would be no place you would rather be, or no one would you rather be than where you are here and now. In ascension, not vibrating in the light and leaving, no, being free. So let it go. When it comes, it comes. Enjoy that moment, that moment. But you guys got to put it in time to want more. Okay? <clears throat> Trust yourself. Trust yourself. I mean, no one else set this up. You did, Sheer. This fractal. You, 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 you. But you're only remembering a portion of you. So who else is doing it to you? Nobody. Who's it doing it for you? You. 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 So the whole you is set up all these realities of probability and be the now and you get to experience life unbeknownst to your imagination. You can never think big enough ever, 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 ever as a fractal. You can't think big enough on what you're going to be, what you can be, what potentials lie within your own reality field that you can't see because you're covered up trying to be something else in time. I want those more experiences. Baby, you've done those for fucking eons. You're like, okay, as soon as you remember, you're like, oh, yeah, I get to do that. Oh, my God, I really did that forever, didn't I? Well, shit, let's go to the unknown. Everyone wants to go to the unknown because the unknown is exactly that. Unknown. Let's go play in that land. Let it come to you. Let it be presented. Be effortless. If your reality looks boring, Sheer, 
then you, maybe you're defining things as what would not be boring. What would be fun, what would not be fun. You, maybe you take five categorizations of experiences in the past that say this is fun. And if nothing in the now looks like it's going to be those things of only fun, then you are bored. So I say follow your nows and whatever looks exciting to the slightest bit of glimmer, follow and see where it goes. Don't judge it on the way either. Because now you have more fun of unknowns instead of fun of trying with the knowns. And that's not fun because you're trying and trying sucks. God, God, gods don't try. <laughs> we don't try. We create. You forgot. Be the idea of allow the now and you see what you have created already for you. You get to catch up in time and unwrap all the presents. Booyah. That's it. <laughs> Cool. Thank you very much. And high five for my oversoul and all of my. Oh, yeah. We're all up here high fiving. <laughs> we have a good time. What do you do? Nice <laughs> tune in. Good deal. What's up? Awesome. High fives for everyone. Uh, we have a question next from Mir um, on the YouTube chat had asked, I'm just going to read it as it was posted and let's see where it goes. Um, Perfect. had said, what did Bashar or what would, I don't know. What, what did Bashar say about prophet Muhammad Quran and Islam? What advanced civilization did prophet Muhammad come from? Prophet Muhammad did not come from an advanced civilization. Prophet Muhammad is an idea of an entity fractalizing himself to play a role on earth. See, you guys had about 13 Christ consciences, about 12 Muhammads, about 17 second Egyptian Christ consciousness. Those ideas, you had many. It's only the ones that humanity deemed as plausible as that idea, conscience, the Christ conscious, the Muhammad idea. There were several of them at that time because they were potentials to understand a new way of believing thinking so he didn't come from anywhere as a superhero diving in to earth and i'm a higher ascended being and i'm gonna come and save you guys bullshit it was an idea of a fractal says hey cool let's see how we can play this out reality let's see what we can experience and create in the unknown together and poof he became mohammed Got his downloads, wrote him out, perfect. And now that led to this now. And this now is your guys' now. What about B Buddha? Did he come from an ascended species, a higher civilization? No. Guys, you guys think you're not high. Hmm? You think you're, think you're uh, not very intelligent, okay? Uh, yes, you are, okay? But you play with what you validate as real. In time, you're one of the most epic species out there. You are the most epic species for choosing this civilization ascendant, a son of a bitch. But what you guys learned and what you guys continue to be in that now, you would like, oh, wow, maybe we are that badass. And you are, guys, guys, you are. You got to stop putting someone else above you. There's no higher civilization. See, Arcturians don't come down here to be an Arcturian and, and, and come and be a human out of the Arcturian self. The Arcturian self is being the Arcturian self until that Arcturian self is being done. That's why you divide yourself in so many freaking ideas. You put yourself all over. You have fingers going in every direction of experiencing from who? You. But you are the you that you are now and be that you to discover who you are. So Muhammad and idea, they all served a purpose. Okay, however Bashar puts it out there, Bashar puts it out there, let him. Okay, good, great, epic message of what? Offerings. Ways to perceive reality. That's all. So in that idea, whatever is servicing you about this moment as we give you, take it. Muhammad, the Christ, Buddha, Confucius, okay, Enoch, Martin Luther King. Hmm. All of them. Just ideas that spoke their joy and they spoke it from the heart and that's why the attraction happened. Because they believed, they loved what they said. So what happens when you love? People being, beak, they pick it up, beam, beak. Wow, something out there. I'm intrigued. 
and they just find themselves moving through realities, going somewhere for no purpose to find that idea of that beacon of love that's pulling them home. And ah, then they find it. And then Muhammad was that idea. You guys are attracting yourselves to each other because you hear, feel vibrations of love and you want to be a part of that. You want to understand it. And that understanding is that the choice is there for you to understand as you choose. Make sense? That's it. Good stuff. Yeah. That is good stuff, man. Thanks. Cool. cool. All right. <clears throat> um, next up. Doo -doo -doo. Next up, we have a question from Sarah. Hello there, Sly. Hey, Sarah. What's up, baby? <laughs> How are the Hathors? Oh, they're okay. I have it. I'm starting to tone a little bit more, so it's really good. But I haven't really been doing a lot of work in that arena good. for the group. Following your nows. Yeah. Right? So there I you have go. two questions. I got two answers. <laughs> two questions. I got okay, two Okay. One okay. is when I came to this uh, hangout just now, mm -hmm. today. Yes. Um, there's an energy coming from my heart, but it's pulsating through my body, but in a snake movement going okay. forward, like outward towards my, I guess my auric field, or I'm trying to figure out what does it mean? Okay, what do you want it to mean, baby? I don't know. I, I was just like, this is a new sensation. You, does it feel good? Feels good. All right, then leave it alone. <laughs> Enjoy what it is and let it and let it and let it reveal itself. You oh. interpret it as a snake type idea is because you have an appetite for the Nagas, don't you? Yeah, but it's moving um, let it, left and right. Let right? it let, because that's the way you're interpreting it. Because when you have the sensation of vibration in you, you equate them automatically to Naga. You do, because that's your validation. It's not wrong. Ah! That's the way you're <laughs> interpreting it. Let it unfold itself to you. Okay. We're all about authority, aren't we? Damn. Yeah, we yeah, give you lots of fun answers. And then you get a piece of candy, you suck on it for a while, and then you, you're done. And now you keep looking for the next piece of candy. Stop. You're only going to get diabetes. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 I just thought I'd ask because that was a new situation going on. I was like, well, what's going on? Well, also, also, you've come into a new idea now and you've got a new vibration. Okay? That choice, this now, is showing you awesome fucking work. How about that? You chose an excitement. Here it is. <gasps> oh, that feels good. I don't need to know what it is. That's appetite. That's knowing. That's knowledge. And then you maybe, maybe in some space time now, you get to regurgitate as an idea of status. Look what I got. Uh, who cares? Be okay. yourself and start to feel and live in your own world of co-creation. Yes. But understand everything is there for you to experience you. You know when it's the idea to share. And you know when the idea of to offer that blissful moment of perfect wisdom to someone in the moment that needs your idea seeking. But until then, don't worry about it. You'll get it. We are effortless gods. Don't worry. If you believe you are your higher self, okay? Okay? Sarah, you got a higher self above you. If you believe that, okay, then trust this motherfucker because it's a big-ass God. And trust the nows. They're not like, oh, I'm not going to give you this. And they're not going to try to force you to find out. We don't force ourselves. If you don't know what it is, oh, I got to find out. Uh, and you start doing research and you're in that whole fucking world of distractions, juggling shit to figure it out. When all you have to do is just lay back and say, cool, what an experience. Ah. <sighs> And then uh, all of a sudden, a month and a half later, holy shit, that's what that was. Surprise. Epic. You get those. <laughs> but you want to take the ride of knowledge. Then you continue the ride of knowledge. And you're always trying to find out and research. And how many fucking nows are you distracted with? Because you're trying to focus on this. If I'm focused on this reality, okay, I don't see the rest of my bubble. Because I'm in time trying to figure this out. I'm in the mm -hmm. nows figuring that out in time. What does it mean? I don't know now, so that's time. Let go. Be now. 
you've you've journeyed fucking epic. Remember all the fears you had when you started hanging with Roxy at the beginning? All the mm -hmm. idea of shit stirrings with your family and the idea of your mother and all of that stuff. And look how far you've come by letting the shit go. Yeah, Trusted very you. far. Becoming a god took a whirlwind idea overseas. You were funded by creation to go and play in the playground. Mm -hmm. Keep allowing the nows and watch what you have in store for yourself. Trust yes. that God above you, and that God's going to give you a ride you can't believe. But if you construct the ride to according to the past of your expectations on what would be fun, then you're going to get a lackluster ride of the known. It's a bitch to do the unknown, isn't it? We know. But the yes. disciples of God, the disciples of the godly self, you can trust that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You can handle mm -hmm. this ride. Otherwise, I couldn't be saying this. Okay. Because you couldn't even relate to the same frequency in this idea of conversation. You would not be here now. So whatever your now is, you are allowed and can do, be that idea. But it's an offering once again. It's never a fucking obligation. Ever, 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 ever. Don't take your idea grappling hook that you've hold on to this and grabbed it and say, oh, there's a new idea. And you put it up there and you pull it on. You hold on to it and say, I got it. Say, oh, cool, offering. Awesome. Let me feel it. Ah, good. And let it go. Be the now. The now is everything. The now is forever. All of you have laughed your ass off and had a good time with now just had no time. And all of a sudden, it's two hours later. Like, oh, fuck, where'd the time go? Well, it didn't go anywhere. You didn't bring it along. <laughs> <laughs> because you were now. Make sense, baby? Yes, it does. Give yourself a well, hell of a ride, baby. Gonna yeah, you're probably going to scream at me for this next question. Oh, no, but I won't scream. Relax. I think I have to ask this one. You don't have to, but if you want Not to, have to please more do, my... because you're a god. <laughs> I will. So, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm headed towards California next week. Awesome. Road trip or plane? Plane. Oh, easy way out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Easy as can be. Thank you. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was wondering if there are anything that you could possibly say towards the trip. Anything I should know at this moment for the trip? No. The trip. What? No. What was the causation? What was the intrigue to go to Cali? Oh, I had a friend who just moved out there, and I got yeah. a place to stay. Like an invite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So go. See. See what it is. If there's meaning and purpose of action in the now as an idea that is measured on a consequence scale, action equals consequence, okay? So that action was taken because the outcome was not heavy in consequence. That's why you're asking the question because you're wonderment about the action, okay? But see, if you were at an idea of a petting zoo and you loved animals, you wouldn't question to go in and pet the animals. See, there's two different ideas. There's no consequence. You're just going to go. So California is the same, but there's unknowns about going to California and what's going to happen out there, okay? You're going to a new playground. Go play. That's it. It's as simple as that. So when you let go of those constructs on why I'm going there and what's it going to be? Is it going to be good? Here's what it was. It was a moment that said, fuck yeah, let's go. And then you go and you go and play it out. You go and play because you have an eternal number of do-overs. You know what they're called? Now. Okay? <laughs> you can always go. There's no bad experience. There's only the now because when you follow that joy and you're like, oh, this is so cool. Awesome, awesome. Oh, what else? Oh, this is cool. Oh, and this is cool, but not really this. So I'm not going to choose that anymore because you use your discernment in the now of a choice to see I don't prefer this. And now you go over here and you choose that. But see, oh, if I never would have gone there, then I didn't have to deal with this. That's regret. That's bullshit. See, you go to California to experience California to find out more of your own self. Whether there are limitations or not, that's your play idea to play with. What it is truly in our eyes is experience. The simplicity of just being a human playing in a playground of worlds that are being shared. That's it. So you go to California and see what's there for you. You follow your now and you become this epic idea. See, when you put ideas of outcomes, 
What about definitions and all that? That's busyness. That's distraction of the mind and unable to see what else is in the now for them of pure bliss. Don't worry about the outcome. Oh my gosh, you're God. You're going to have a blissful life if you just get out of your way and follow that instinct, that intuition, that heartfelt idea of pumping that says, let's rock on over to California and now go see what's there for you. You have a whole world there for you, an unknown world. You know you will always be supported wherever you go, right? You've proven that to yourself, haven't you? Yes. So when you go there, your ideas will go. I know that Kristen out there is a potential for you, a friend to hang out with. There's others out there too. You also have Jody out there. There's a Jody you haven't met yet that's out there. You also have Lee out there. That's the one that you will meet as well. You have a whole interactions of new idea friendships coming online to experience the bliss of co-creating humanity. Let go of all what it's going to be. It can only be the bliss because that's what it is. You're not blinding it with purposes. You're not shielding it with ideas of expectations. So just mm -hmm. go out there and rock it. You're going to have a great time. Yes, thank you. I know you. it. Right? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? You're God. Awesome. Good work, baby. Thank you. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you, too, Sarah. That's going to be freaking awesome. Man. Cali. Cali's a cool place. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Enough of my commentary on loving California. Um, next, we have a question from getting lost in lack of space time. Uh, sorry. Next, we have a question from Liney, who would like to ask if um, you could elaborate how near she may be to channeling currently. Who is this? Um, Liney. Where's she at? Um, she Liney comes asked in. On she YouTube come. She's on YouTube, right? Yeah. Liney. I don't know. Yep. Liney. I'm speaking yep, to Liney, Liney now. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to her. Liney. Okay, well, first off, you can never not be channeling because the original thought is the higher self. That thought is what you call perceived, or rather better, is received by your fractal idea of mind, your physical brain. It's a translator, a radio that tunes in and translates the radio waves, in your terms, to your language, your pictures, your visual idea concepts of creation. That's your perceiving mind. So you know you already channel, but you have a definition of channeling. See, when you put on an idea to see a channeler, you covet that idea. That's your first reaction because we're coveters down here in forgetfulness. So you see that, and that's what a, a channeler is. So you see Bashar, you see anybody in your life. It doesn't matter who it is. You see channelers. Bashar, Abraham, well, that's Esther being the idea of that. Jay-Z Knight, Rob Gothier. Adronis with uh, Brad Johnson, Nora and Wendy, and Sean Swanson, and, and all the greats that are out there putting out their joy. And you see that as a channeled definition. And then what you do is look at it and you define it in your own way. And, it's, and then you hold this idea standard on yourself to say, how do I become that? What do I do to be that? And then you try to put a plan in the place to be that idea channeler. So that's effort and that's a construct. So here's what you do. You go on the YouTube channel, ours, and you do watch Channeling 101 with Roxy. Osiphius channel, I think. Okay? Then, I don't know. I'll tune it. So you become Channeling 101. And you just start to channel. Now, I'm going to give you an example of how we teach in the channeling class. You know, we have a channeling class and we teach, we've had 83 IDS students go through there. Here's how we teach channeling. Okay? So you get into a position and you define yourself, Lenny, as whatever it is that you see yourself as a channeler. Do you see yourself on a stage, standing, sitting, eyes closed, eyes open, position, hands, okay? You become that moment. You put on that definition suit of a channeler. Although you haven't channeled and you haven't been validated to be a channel, you just still and you go and then we'll use Seth's idea, pretend. Great world to pretend because it becomes reality. 
Oh, so in that idea, why? Oh yeah, why? Because you're God, that's right. All right, so you start the channel and you close your eyes or you open them up and you listen and repeat every freaking thought in your mind. I'm not getting any thoughts. That's what you repeat. What's supposed to happen? I'm not feeling anything. That's what you say. You speak every single idea in your head, even if it's a visual, green, blue, house, dog, squirrel, in your head. Start that flow, and you allow, and you just talk about shit. I don't know what to talk about. Neither do I. Who are you? I'm you. Me? Me who? Me who? The higher self. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Got anything to say? I don't know. Let me see. Hmm. Let's see. You are on an ascending idea, and you're a fractal of me. How awesome is that? Cool. Cool. What's your name? Call me what you will. Buford. No, Buford's taken. Just kidding. Of course you can call me Buford. Call me what the fuck you are. Make sense? And you just be that. Don't worry about what you're doing because whatever you're trying to say is a construct to hold yourself in an idea of what's epic. And then you actually doubt what you're going to say in time because when you're channeling, you think ahead. Just like when you're talking in a conversation, have the two-way lineage. Take a conversation you had between your mom when you were in an argument or between friends and you're kind of like having this idea of conversations about ideas. And remember, right at that moment, you guys see yourself think ahead. You're listening, but you're really not listening because you're thinking about what you're going to say about what the point they made that you sparked you. So you feel that idea ahead. And that's what you do when you're channeling. You put your idea doubts in the place. Oh, my God, where is this going? I'm not sure if I even should say that. And then you try to change the words. And that's wonderful. We want you to see your own doubt. And you allow and allow and allow and trust, 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 trust. There's a new entity that just really started a um, Trust is now, and he started a YouTube channel, Jake Wittenberg, and he channels the group Orion, and to watch his evolution, like, I'm not sure, and he's so doubted, and he got mad at himself, and he kicked himself because he knew he didn't want to say that, but he said that anyway, and his struggles were awesome, and then all of a sudden, he's online channeling right now, the group Orion. He took the journey, so put the construct in your head of channeling as just whatever you choose to say right now. We even had one of the channelers channel an idea of a recipe for a strawberry cake, pie, rather. Yeah. Just something in the known. And don't, and don't, don't, don't be afraid to channel what's in your known memory. Because what's created in the now? The memory. So it's that idea. Memory is giving you a now for that idea to channel because the people you were channeling for. Like Roxy was like, okay, I'm, I'm channeling some shit that, that I read in a book from the Hathor material. So? It's not creation. You're channeling stuff in the idea of what Bashar said. So, Bashar is a co-creator. Whatever you define yourself as that idea is your dealings of yourself. So you got to go through that and say, fucking A, I can be what I am because I'm my own God and whoever shares my world is their choice. So that's the idea. So you free yourself from all these constructs of being a channeler. We want channelers, more and more channelers online because guess what? As this evolution happens and all the bullshit of reality starts to crumble and people are going like, wow, all this is bullshit. What's out there to play with now? They're going to go to the idea of the world that's been, let's say, been, been talked about for a long time but no one really wanted to pay attention. The world that you guys jumped into, you know, you jumped in knee deep. And there's going to be millions and millions and billions and billions going, I need some fucking answers here. And they're going to go to the channels. They're going to go to the ones that can do that. They'll come in droves. Oh, yes. Make sense? So that's how close you are, Lenny. It's a matter of choosing to be that. Watch Channeling 101. If you got any questions... Shoot Roxy an email at R-S-W-A-I-N-H-A-R-T, R-S-W-A-I-N-H-A-R-T, at gmail.com. And if you have any questions, do that. Booyah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Way showers, bingo. Yes, we are the way showers. And it is time. Now. We have a question next from Bianca. Um, she Bianca. would like to ask. Yeah. Is she uh, online? Bianca. Or is she, she in here? Or did she drop She's, out? She's. Um, she had to drop out, but she asked it in the Hangout chat. Okay. Let me pull it up here again. She said, um, 
Are there any messages for me from whoever you are channeling? Sly. Um, and does my boyfriend have any hybrid kids? I'm unclear on that. Thank you. Boyfriend doesn't have any hybrid kids. The boyfriend is an idea of what you would call a rebound. That's how you define it as first, losing an idea of love and putting the love into that idea. So that idea is the purpose is being filled. How it plays out is up to you. Okay? Nothing to do with the hybrid idea. That's yours. That's your world. You know that. So he wasn't involved in that idea. He's servicing you for being an idea to show yourself you're allowed to love yourself unconditionally because that's why he's loving you the way he is. But in understanding most people, when they start to love themselves wholly, they discover they're not truly in love because in love is unconditional. That idea of being with an idea lover. In other words, that person can walk away at that moment. The only thing you would do is kiss them and say goodbye and love it. You would have no ill will towards so if you feel lost in a lover, you know, understand that you, that's your dependency on that lover. And that idea of lover of your now, Bianca, is that lover has been an idea of a serviceable to allow you to love yourself that much more. And then however you play it out, and if you do love yourself wholly in that fashion of looking at him in that regard, then you will never have lack about him being an idea of just a friend now or a lover. See, it can be either one. But if you try to make it one or the other, then that's how you put time and constructs in your definition of your reality and changes the version of the people in your reality because you've changed the version of yourself. It's a mirror, a perfect mirror. Mm. But that's it as far as that, Bianca. You can talk to us in slides class on Monday if you want to come in, Bianca. You know that. You're always welcome. All right. right Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we have a question next from Raymond. Uh, Raymond, are you able to speak up or would you like me to um, read the question for you? I know you're around. We saw your video of your cool looking amber. Aha, you're coming back. Raymond said, hold on, no problem. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I will ask this really quickly from Dana. She said, um, Dana is watching on YouTube, and she said, Hey, I have a question. Who is the tree being in my yard? Hang on. I'm talking to Gongolina. Her name is Azamora. She's from the Terrapian civilization as part of a, a, a group of collective that like to be trees. And her name is Azamora. Say hello to her. Have a conversation. Simple as that. Now you have the connection. As soon as I said it, vibration. Vibration comes. As soon as you feel it, as a more, okay, okay, cool, cool. And of course, you start thinking about it and you'll diminish that, but just allow the now and be that idea. Trust it, trust it, trust, trust, trust. Go ahead. I'm enjoying some cheese, pardon us. <laughs> no problem. Oh, wow, awesome. All right, great. Um, okay, going back to Raymond. Raymond said he's ready. Are you able to speak up, Raymond? Yes, I am. Hi. Hi there. Hey, baby. How are you? Good. And you handsome? Mwah. Mm, thank you. I'm doing wonderful. Awesome. My question is, why are we all inside on such a wonderful day to experience life? <laughs> That's a great fucking question. <laughs> yeah. That those are the questions How about this? people should be asking. How about that? How about this? If that's your joy, then go. See, these ideas all get together for this one blissful moment. And it's a calling, a beckoning to find an answer within, to experience a new vibration. And then as the time moves, you start to feel the let's say, kind of like what you all already know, the answers that we're giving through this co-creation. 
are all of a sudden in this idea of like meet yourself. Let's say. Okay. These ideas start to evolve in the questions and everyone feels that they're there for them. But as you go along in time, all of a sudden you're feeling like I got everything already, don't I? And that's what spurred this question within you, baby. It's like, why are we all here? Well, that's a choice. Truly, what it is, it's a choice. So on that idea, if your inspiration is going to enjoy that sunshine and start being that idea and taking in that sunlight to feed your etheric light body, then go and breathe that idea air and be that. Don't worry about everyone else. We got it. We'll figure ourselves out. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Excellent question, kiddo. Love it. That's it. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Well, um, great. We have a question next from um, Jonah. Jonah was asking, um, she's watching on YouTube, and she said, uh, what is the message for me from Orion? Thank you, and much love. <clears throat> well, you got it. Is that on Roxy? Yeah. You got an idea of the new channeler. His name is Jake Wittenberg again. He's channeling the Orion group. So in that idea, you're connected to the same idea group. That's why it's like the same idea, synchronistic moment about the Orion idea. So uh, many of you are involved in the Orion idea collective, Orion idea. But let's not label it anything that you figured out about Orion in the past. Leave that shit out of it because it has nothing to do with now. It's what you trust it to be in the now. If there are any messages, you already know you're connected. So the message is you already know you're connected. So go ahead and start talking to us in the way you feel. We're not in the same idea as what you think we are. I'm reading the message now. You're not in the idea of what we think you are, that spiritual idea, connection, family connection, birthing place of you, fractal connection. No, that's not where we are. We're co-creators with you because you have a fractal up here being the idea. What that fractal from the perception of you are doing, it, it's in what you would call your next journey of your own self in fractalization, which is in your future. So I know that gets a little sticky in that idea, but you are connected to you in all of your nows. You're always you, but from this perspective. So you're feeling Anayan, Orion, connection, definition, vibration. You're feeling connected, but the interpretations of that is what you only think it can be within your framework of acceptability. So now we give you a new offering that is a fractal self, be it in the future, doesn't matter, that is there, and that's your connection. So now you can have fun and become in first A, talk to that idea self that's up there. Hey, self, you up there in Orion? Yes, I am. How are you? Cool. Awesome. What do you got to say? Let's talk about it and start to talk about it. And then you can start to experience from the eyes of yourself as that will unfold. In other words, you are an avatar inside of that idea, fractal of yours, going along the ride with the fractal, being in an Orion being, still translatable within your human constructs. However, more, most certainly a definable idea translation that's beyond the human senses. Go play. Good deal. You liked that one, didn't you? I sure did. I know yeah. that. I know. Thank we, you. You were musing. I was <laughs> musing indeed. That is it. Oh, man. yes. Beautiful place to be. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, next up, we have a question from... I'm losing my place all over. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Too much musing, apparently. We have a question from Kirash or uh, Christy, who would like to know. Um, she said, I just quit my job and I'm jumping into the unknown. Can you tell me what direction my life is headed in the coming months? North. <laughs> okay. Listen. If I gave you a construct of possibilities of what your life would be going, then you would be that idea, look at that, and then maybe if you found it authoritative, then you would be finding ways to construct that 
and make it happen. And then if there was a plausible idea of something didn't work out, then you have the probability of it didn't work out. That wasn't real. It was bullshit. Because that only showed you you pinned hopes on my idea of your probabilities. Don't fucking hope in me. How about this? Once again, we're ass kickers on this and we'll keep doing it. Choose. Choose your nows to create your future. The future is not laid out. The future is a billion probabilities and now it's a billion more and now it's a billion more and now it's a billion more. The where you choose cannot be a mistake. It's always the highest vibration of yourself, 100%, period. So find out where you can go instead of where you think you want to go or what an, another one person says. So I give an answer and your whole world becomes these other 10 billion probabilities instead of the probabilities you're on. And this answer in and of itself gives you another 10 billion probabilities to go. That's exciting, but it's not very safe, is it? It's a little scary out there in the unknown. You're not sure because you can't cast your ideas of safety into the future. If all of you had like you know, a couple bill, couple million, couple billion in your uh, accounts, oh, you wouldn't give a fuck about the future. <laughs> oh, no, not, not a chance. You're like, okay, yeah, I got enough money. I'm going to go play. And you play hardcore for 10 freaking years. And then maybe if the money starts to run low or something like that, and then you start, oh, I got to back off. Got to be safe and secure. Got to make sure that future is secure again. And it's the same old cycle. The only difference is the zeros in the bank account. That's it. That's all the dependency is on. So you look to the future as an idea of safe harbor and what's the probabilities and where you're going to go. But if you trust the unknown and be the self of love, choice for the now, that creates the future that is so blissful, so unknown, so beautiful. And you won't be able to deny it. You can fight for it. You can chalk it up to experience or luck or, let's say, ideas. Experiential luck is better, right, Rox? Yeah. So in that idea, you can chalk it up and fight for your limitations of good shit happening to you. You can reject the ideas of those realities and you stay limited. Or you can start to accept and trust the nows and choose what you will with no, no, no regrets, no second guessing, no paralyzation, no theory land sitting in a dirty diaper of wondering what's going to happen. Just fucking get out there and choose life. Live. And what happens is that mirror reflects because it's the law. It's the freaking law. When you choose your own love, you only get your love back. That's the law. You choose the fears of time, you get the vibrations of fears in time. What's going to happen in your future? Only thing I see is unconditional, pure bliss, outstanding, unknown love. How you choose it is up to you, no matter what we say. Be that now and understand that you are a God and you're allowed to choose what the fuck you want. Now start trusting who? You. Never, ever, 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 ever entities of ascension, humanity, trust anyone else. Because then you put this box on them. You put this fucking box that says, you step out of this and you betrayed me and I trusted you. So in other words, you gave yourself another person to trust and you cage them. And then you give them a whole fucking mouth load of bullshit guilt because they went outside of your boundaries. Are you a prisoner or a prison keeper? Hmm? Is that what you want to do to people? Okay, so that's why you only trust you entities. Only you, 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 no one. Who, who, me, that's it. And you trust that heart because it's only a mirror. So your future is laid out. You think you make mistakes. You're fearing the idea of your own decisions because you're this fractal old idea. You can't become a god until you start being a god. You got to start acting as you are, as a God, making choices, not worrying about the discernment of the guilt of the people around you for making super choices because that's their fucking standard. Fuck them. Their gods are having a good time, but don't pay them any homage. They're in your life giving you shit. Bye-bye. What? Click, buy, click. Don't answer the email. Don't pick up the phone. Bye, fucking bye. Get out of their world and free yourself. Because if you never met them, you wouldn't pay any relationship investment in them. And if there's no investment in anything, you just walk by them as they're a stranger in the night. That's the idea. You choose your nouns. You don't worry about what the mirror is saying to you. And you follow their heart. Do trust you. Only you. You don't need anyone else because you're already God. But you can't journey into me, God, until you start choosing for yourself. Otherwise, you get the life you've had. And since you're asking that question, I know you want a different life. So now you're allowed to choose. Good shit. Thank you for answering. Perfect question. Perfect question. Yes. So simple and turns into a whole world. Love it.
<laughs> she said, beautiful, thank you so much. Fuck yes. I love oh, you. Yeah. L O L. Love you too, Barbara. <laughs> oh, it's great. Awesome. It is that was great. Especially for me. I just uh yeah, I no longer have a job as of right now and I'm I know you got on. fired. Roxy was, I know, was so fired when you got fired. I mean listen so my internet went up. Ah, I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. You remember what you said in the conversation? When you were talking to Roxy about the job, I took the job because what did you say? What did you say? Mm, because I needed a paycheck, I think. Oh, damn! You didn't need yep. Yeah. And as soon as you got there, you're like, fuck, I know this job ain't lasting. <laughs> oh, man. As soon as buddy. they put all of those vibration constructs of rules and regulations on how you're supposed to perform as some fucking puppet on a fucking string, you're like, okay, I can deal with this for a while. But it's just temporary. I'll get through it. And then you get fired and you're like, fuck, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was running around. I'm like, good thing I dressed like a mermaid today. <laughs> I had like mermaid scale shirt on. And I was like, this is so great. They were all looking at me like in absolute fear. Like, cause they all knew what if yeah. I'm next? It, that's how they run it there. So anyway, it's funny. Sure. It's just funny. And you saw that. It was and that's a world. That's worlds playing. Those are creators valuing systems of ideas of themselves. And you knew it's not your world, so don't worry about going there. And oh, oh, darling, Marie, do not worry about a paycheck or money or abundance. Because if you focus that lack in the now, that's what comes more ideas of being lackful. Trust the now yeah. just a little bit, and you will give yourself a miracle. Don't look at the amount. Don't look at the way. Don't reject the way it comes in. It's going to come. It's going to come. It has to come. Because why? Because you're fucking God. That's why you trust you and only you. And don't worry about time. Again, Roxy always talks about this. When she first started waking up and she quit her job and she started, she wasn't even channeling yet. She was just, you know, went to a law of attraction meeting and just start speaking, just start just being a speaker. And people will come over and donate some money to her for talking and having sessions. And then she's like, oh man, I really want to start sessions. And she, oh God, it was so scary for her to choose $60 an hour. Oh my God, that scared the shit out of her because she didn't think it was valuable. So guess what? She attracted people in a reality that only could pay that. See, she put her own self worth on herself, and now she's a buck forty an hour. She's fine with that. It doesn't need to be anymore. You know, because that's not. It's not even about the values. It's just what she wants to be. So in that idea for you, you are choosing your fears of abundance on how it's going to be there. Roxy, you know. I, it, most of you know she loves to smoke. She drinks coffee and she smokes cigarettes. That's her fucking thing. And she just plays in channels. So when she's didn't have cigarettes and look, look like and there was no packs of cigarettes coming, she's fucking in a panic. And she's like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? I don't have any money. And, blah, blah. and then poof, the miracle showed up. She's like, wink, I need some cigarettes. She goes, yeah, I'm on my way over right now. I just bought you a couple packs. I'll be there. And she's like, fuck, miracle. Why did I even fear this kick her ass about fearing the now? Because there was nothing right now that she needed. In the now, she was perfect. She had everything she needed. So understand that's how the now is going to work. If you allow it, it's going to be perfect in the moment and you will have everything you need. And listen, here's one more idea. She had the idea, maybe some of you know the story, maybe some of you don't. She had the idea if she took a title loan out on the truck so she can have some money. And this is before she woke up and she was making the payments and all of a sudden the payments weren't coming in to make the payments. So she was a little weird about that. <clears throat> She was a little weird about the truck going to get repossessed, and she trusted. She didn't ask anyone for the money. She didn't ask anyone for the money. She didn't do it. She was scared to death. I had a truck, and then people have to come pick me up when we start going out. And there's, I need to ride to the grocery store, and I don't want to call my parents because I look like a failure, and they don't even trust me. This is like right there. So there's all these beliefs just dancing around her and pinging off her, and she's fucking ecstatic and crazy and mad and <sighs> letting it go. So she didn't make a payment on that idea truck, and the truck got repossessed three. Three days later, a friend that she just met on Wednesday, on that Friday, three days later, her truck got repossessed on Monday. The friend called. They met on Thursday. Friday, they came over, and they gave her a 2007 Humvee, a Hummer H3, black chrome, and she used it for three months. Okay, for free. She never get to play that reality out if she would have asked someone for money to make the payment. She would have still been driving the truck. You guys got it? Don't fuck up your nows of bliss. 
by not trusting your own self. It's really not fucking it up, but we call it fucking it up because there's always a better thing out there for you. Always, always, always. So you allow the nows, and that's the quickest way to the bliss, period. Don't take action to run defenses off your safety and security in the future because that's shifting your nows of your probabilities. That's telling, I have lack. I'm going to make sure this is not going to happen. So guess what? That's a precaution in time to know that you have lack in the future and you need to prevent it. So you get the ideas of preventing it over and over again and the whole world goes to shit because that's the vibration of lack that you're putting in there, fear. So the world gives you representations of that. But if you're allowing the now and you're not running any distortions on the screen of life with your own fears, then unconditional love pours within, reflects off the idea of the mirror and goes right right back to you. Love goes to the mirror, undistorted, it comes back unconditional love. So if you're not putting up your defenses or fears about the future, about what's happening, about what's needed or not needed, and trust the now of you and you alone, then guess what? You only get those things undistorted now, and it starts to shift in the nows, little by little, and you trust only what? What What? What do you trust the now? The moment, the moment, the moment, the moment, and watch the miracles unfold. Roxy did it. That's why she can talk about it, because if she didn't do it, I couldn't have this conversation, because we're not going to speak of an idea of theory. We're going to speak in the idea of fucking experience. Hmm? It's like that teacher that teaches the idea of this or that, and they've never done it. They've read it in a book. It's lackluster. It's empty. It's shallow. It's an, it's an idea of arrogance to be a teacher and speak about things I don't know because I'm smart. You don't want that in your life. You want experience. Go and live. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, that, that is spot on, man. Thank you. It's, mm -hmm. it's perfect. It is perfect. It is perfect. Awesome. We have a few more questions left. I know we're um, we're getting close to ending time here. How you doing, Sly, I'm doing Roxy? Fine. Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. Rock and roll. Of course you're doing fine. Awesome. Okay. Well, we have a quick question next from uh, Liz. Liz, if you wanna, you make me do turn the microphone Liz. on. We'd love to hear the way you rock and roll. <laughs> That's one of my favorite songs. Go ahead, baby. She's in there. It's here, isn't she? Uh, yeah, I think he's here. Well, hey, he is here. Right. I think his microphone will. He's unmuted. It looks work. like Liz. You there? It's not coming through. Right, left the group. He must have been. Oh, thing. shucks! His internet. He'll come back in. Out. He'll come back in. Go ahead. What's well, next? we will come back to that maybe. So next up, we have a question from Christine. Christine, are you able to speak up? Christine, maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, um, oh, sorry. Um, for some reason, the go. icons weren't coming up. I'm here. Hi, baby. Yay. Um, what I wanted to ask you was, um, are um, do any of my um, um, helpers do any of them have some advice for me or encouragement or about my progress? Okay, the idea of progress. Yes. Okay. I'll break some news to you. We don't look at you as progressive. <laughs> we can't. Just because we will put a construct of a vibration on what you're supposed to be doing. See, because there's no finish line. There's no outcome. There's no gold star. You know, gold stars. There's none of that. There's only life as you choose to live it. And you're living a blissful life right now. But you understand that you're more than that and you want to know what that idea. Your guides, your helper were just that. They were guides and helpers. And they'll, all they want, just like me, is for you to guide yourself. Not help yourself because you don't, you don't need help because you're not broken. You're not. You never have been broken. So you guide yourself to become your idea. You use constructs, your angels... Your spiritual guides. Okay. Stand by. Okay. Can someone mute? Okay, thank you. So on that idea, you used your constructs of guides, of spirit guides, animal guides, angelic guides, to get yourself to a point to where I'm okay with me. I'm okay making my own choices and being my own guide. And this is the same idea with you. The message is, baby, that you already are that. There's no progress. 
you've lived a blissful life. You've had adventures beyond. You still have secrets that you would laugh about today if you had them in conversations with friends. You lived a great freaking life. You're allowed to be that and be that. Now, though, don't worry about your progress because that's a construct of time. You're going to come sliding into the funeral home if you choose all beat up and battered and say, fuck yeah, what a journey. Instead of coming in all prom and pripper, God, I wish I would have lived a little more. Don't do that to yourself. Don't worry about progress. Don't hold yourself in contempt of an idea of someone else's progression. And see, progressions are the idea of subjective to the worlds that you have choose to see what progressive is. Because it's progression on this earth, and then over here, here's this spiritual saying, saying this is what it's supposed to be. And then you go back over here, this Dalai Lama in ages, or you go to JD or JK Krishnamurti, you go over to that world, you know, and then you go to that world, and you go to that world, and you're in so many worlds on how it is. They're all there to say, hey, stop choosing me. Choose yourself. Be your own guide. Live it. Love it. Okay? Because you're on forever. You guys came in here. Just, just see yourself flying along in spirituality, and there's an exit called humanity on the frequency highway. And you go in, and you stop. You take a rest stop. Oh, cool. And then you're gone. It's literally like 10 minutes. What is it? There was a translation one time. Let me look it up. An oversoul idea of a lifetime. Your 100 years would be 10 minutes to the oversoul. Okay, it's so quick. But you live the beauty of it. So be the beauty of it with no prog progress, and you all of a sudden see your own progression within yourself. How? You feel it. You don't see it. That comes later. Miracles happen, but you start feeling it. Feeling comes way before time. True that. True that. Okay? And that's it, baby. Yes. Okay. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, darling. I think Liz is back now, yeah? Yes, Liz is It was back. wonderful. It was a great question. See how one yeah. question leads the whole world? I love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Oh, me too. It's so incredible. This is so much fun. <laughs> Um, I think that Liz is writing his question right now. So while he's doing that, we did have a question from somebody on YouTube. Um, so Stein had asked on YouTube, um, what was it that I saw in my room? They were a pair of orange glowing eyes. They looked like those of the greys. What's the name, Stein? Yeah, um, Stein Renaf, Renaf. Got it, got it, got it, got it, okay. Uh, this is going to be a little weird. It wasn't actually eyes. It was, it was two orbs that looked like eyes because of their positioning. And that was interpretation as eyes. And what you were seeing is you have these entities you have most entities that are solid, round, filled in as an orb. You all get orbs. More and more of you get orbs as you go along. So that's usually yellow. When you get an idea of an orange one, but it almost looks like an eye because they actually the entity inside is apparently black or usually a dark blue if you get time involved to translate that vibration known as blue. But apparently... In human idea interpretation, it looks black first. So it looks dark in here, and then the orange is around it. But that's actually the aura that vibration is putting out. And it's an idea. Hmm, they don't even know that yet, do they? Oh, great question. Oh, I love the unknown. <laughs> okay, there's a species that hangs out with the idea in the same etheric world. Okay, etheric vibrational world that all your pixies and unicorns usually come in and hang out. They don't live there. Some of them live there full time. Those of your, let's say, your fairies, your gnomes, and things like the, like uh, your leprechauns, and you know those those ideas. They they live on that agartha, but it's split into many vibrational frequencies. So within the construct of that idea, and we'll just say it's. Middle Earth for a reference point, but it's more than that. But mm. There's an, a species in there, 
And they're not fairies, they're not pixies, but that's the most relatable idea, is that they are fairies and pixies because they similar. It's within the same species. It's a, it's a new species of the collective idea. See, we all start out as ideas, and then we hone them in, and we branch them off to play with, okay? Just like there's been many versions of humans, more than you can, uh, your history has found, in you species it up. So the fairies found the fairies, and they evolved their fairies in the fairy way, and when it was beautiful, and the pixies were offshoots and ideas, and then you have sprites and all those ideas, but they were not like in time, they're just now, and we hone and we put new ideas, and that's what this idea is. It's a, let's say, a, in your terms, a new known species, although they've been around for a very long time. Well, are you going to give me the name, guys? And this is Roxy talking. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, yeah, we're going to translate it. Stand by. We're talking. Great question. Okay. Wendy. Wendy. Hey, babe. Who are they? You know them. Well, okay. the an one of the answers I got from Jim was it was a new species that were coming to Earth called the Elii and that we knew very little about them and they were here to observe mm. and that they were a very high dimensional being. No, that's not them. That's not them. You, you know them. This, I know these them. These are for you. These are for you. See how now's lead to oh. now? This is for you and that idea. They song because they're connected, okay? So you bring it out to the group when you're ready to. That's not our job in this now. This is for you to unfold. So they're not fairies, they're not pixies, they're not sprites, but they're that liking. But they've been around, they're hanging around, but they're just unknown because the frequency hasn't connected to it until this now. So that makes sense. That's for you to play with, okay? It's an unknown. You haven't got it until this now, so don't reference anything of what was in the past. You have enough intuition and trust in yourself to do this. We know that, otherwise you wouldn't be getting Thank it. you, though. I, I needed to hear that, though. Thank you. You're welcome. So that's that idea. Cool. That is so awesome. I love yeah. how all this stuff connects together like a puzzle. Oh, cool. my God. My heart's just jumping up and down. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> love you too, darling. <laughs> oh, Wendy. Oh, that's great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So um, it looks like we have a last question from Liz. Um, he said, okay, so a few years ago, I found out that the wind around me is actually behaving more to my inner life. So when I think or do any action, it reacts um, It reacts like a body. So this started around three years ago since then, and this is what I would really like to tell instead of write. So he, he wanted to Liz, talk you about did it. Perfect. You did perfect on it. See, you're, you, you <laughs> gave yourself the own solution. What did you write there? It's coming, behaving more to my inner self. Well, yeah. See, wind is an entity. Breath is an entity. Fire, rain, hmm? that idea. Weather. They're all ideas, structures of entities, individual singularities co-creating as one. Consciousness. Forming an idea of an entity, so be it. But wind in and of itself is an entity that's interchangeable between the entities that are experiencing being the wind. So you have you being the wind from the outside perspective, so it's a direct reflective, but you don't know you're the wind. You think the wind is the entity outside of you. It's not. It's the entity in you to show you a reflection of yourself, of you being that interdimensional idea of creating with yourself, using the idea of wind. Make sense? Yes, it's like right being the wind. It's not me in singularity, but myself, but in myself, yes. It's you being the co-creator of the now. You get things that start to play with you. See, the idea of consciousness, every cell in Roxy's hand is conscious. Okay, she doesn't know how to communicate with him like she did, did, before, yeah, did before, but she's remembering that. But she's remembering that. Sorry for what? Sorry for what? Stand by. Okay, right, so in that idea, all is consciousness. This pen is consciousness. 
it's a, at a level of understanding that you can't perceive, but it's still alive and it's still conscious, it's still being, it's still co-creating. And the more you idea, realize that your co-creation, and this is a larger scale from you, something that's definable because you feel the movement of it. So it has a reaction with you. It's an interaction with you at your conscience framework self. But this idea pen talks to you just as much as anything else does. So that's an idea for you to evolve into that field. So you're evolving with this new playground of interacting with your reality and those levels of interaction become more noticeable. You start to feel things more. You start to interact more. You start hearing the leaves grow. Hmm. So keep playing with it. Oh, yes. You're I not love that. die in a fucking hurricane. Who wrote that? I have a problem with 100 people died in the hurricane recently. Hey, you're dragging the shit into the past and now. They chose, darling. You have a problem with reality. All right, here we go. Mm. All right, here it is, guys. I'm going to give you two words. Mm. Yeah, Roxy, I said uh, after the sentence that I... I, mean, I, I know. I, Stop justifying. All you're doing is justifying. You brought up a new point. Be happy that you brought up something for awesome. Stop trying to justify your reality. I am a nobody to you. Just listen. That's wrong. You are my Roxy. Okay. Put me back on camera. Mute him. I love you. I can't write it big enough. Reality is. Okay. Say it. Reality is now. If those people died in a hurricane, that's reality is and that now. And you can bang your head a fucking against reality is. And that's your world of choice to give yourself that misery. Nobody fucking died. They only died in your world because you chose them to die. You saw them that way because you're the fucking God in your world that interprets your reality. You play a victim to that. Okay, fight for it. Fight for it and be the misery you've lived because you're allowed to. Why? Because you're God. Okay, they chose a life. Every single person knows their exit point at that point. Everybody, 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 everybody. Death is never a surprise. They know it in that now. And it's never fair. It's never scary. It's only, oh, cool, I'm in the next room. That's all it is. But you fear for that. You anger about that. You bring up that. I want you to do that because that shows you, you all don't love reality. You fucking anger against it. You're taking reality is and banging your head against it. Someone comes up and in front of you and they say, hey, dickhead. They call you a name or they call you love. See, either one, it's love, but you see it as a polarity scale. But they're being reality. That's all they're doing. You just don't pay attention to it. Say, awesome, look at their choices. I'm going to go play in my world. But no, you got to stay in this world and focus on the fucking shit so I can have pain and sorrow and anger and angst because that's all I know. And that's not your fault. See, that's why humanity is humanity and what we talked about earlier. Love, hate, angst, worry, suffering, bliss, happiness, dull, mediocrity, all these things. That's what it is. That's what you do because that's what you're comfortable with and that's what you know. But we would say move away from that and just be indifferent towards those realities that don't jive with you. Yeah, they may slight you, but they don't jive with you and we'll let them go. Walk away. Because you can't change reality is. You only change the way you view it in the now. You'll never, ever, 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 ever change the now. You can't. You only change the view of the now. The now is. Reality is. Start to embrace it. Love it. Whatever doesn't jive, indifference, walk away. Change. Shift. Go about your nows. Call it service. Call it idea service to self or selfish because I need to be worried about this. That's your constructs. That's you saying that out of obligation of a belief system that says you need to be worried about world. You need to be concerned about others. No, you don't. Everyone's God. No one dies. Beautiful. I think I got a point there. Go ahead, baby. Good point. Yeah. Uh, that was incredible. And everybody is raving about this. So... Thank you both. Thank you, Felix. Thank you, everybody who's contributed today. I think that has wrapped up our Q&A. Do you have any last statements, Sylvester or Osiphius or Roxy or anyone? 
Yeah, I love you guys. <laughs> Aw, we love you too. See, here's here's what I got so to do. Much. This is this is what I got to do today. I got to come and play with my friends, my humans. We're all playing roles on a wonderful stage of life. And the more idea you see it as that beautiful idea of experience and the less importance and less purpose and less meaning and less ideas of value of futures or outcomes and all that shit, the freer you become. And all of a sudden, it's just this moment of bliss that you just never even put any ounce of thought onto. You just be. Ah, freedom. That's it. Fucking I love you, Roxy. I love you, Sly. I love you all. Mwah. All right, guys, I'm going to bring back Miss Roxy. I love you guys, and if you need us, reach out. Just say, hey, Sly. Oh, you here? And we'll go, yes. <laughs> We're always there. Always. Thanks, Sly. Love you guys. Thank you, Sly. Awesome. Love you. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Hey, Roxy. <laughs> Welcome back. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff, guys. Really good questions. Excellent time. Wow. Seriously. So much fun. <laughs> that was and amazing. You know, I, I, love, I love how all the, all the questions come up. Everyone can reflect about it, how it sees in their lives. How it, oh, God. It's just what a wonderful interaction. What a wonderful moment. <laughs> I love all of our questions get answered, even the ones we haven't asked. Mm. Right. Yes. You no, know, they just every one of them. Yes, every one of them. And ones I didn't know I needed to know about. And too. ones we yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Exactly. The best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Man, we are so freaking lucky, Woo. people. Like, check this out. Look at what we're doing. Anybody who's yes. watching on YouTube, anybody who's doing whatever, you, just, this, this is all amazing. The fact that we are in this reality. And we are making it our own. Yeah. That's what we get to do. So, thanks <laughs> for contributing. Thank you. Thank you, Roxy. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, we good? Great. Um, we are good. Um, I think we can wrap it up with that. Um, does anybody have any final? We could do, uh, yeah, if me, anyone has closing blessings or anything. I just want to put my link. If you guys want to contact me, here's my Odyssey of Ascension website. So if you want to contact me, you know, shoot the shit about something, email me. Don't be afraid. Reach out. I'm here, okay? So there's that in the chat. And if you can link yes, it over to the actually, YouTube. Link it over to the YouTube, would you? Of course. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah. and um, cool. I also wanted to mention, Roxy, your Q&A. You said that was monthly, right? Yeah, the, the one that I do, uh, with the one I do answer questions, that's this Wednesday and Friday. So people, you know, write me questions and stuff. The live Q&A is the second Saturday of every month. Okay. So that's the second Saturday. It's on Zoom. I post it on my Facebook. If you're not friends with me, just look up Roxanne Swainhart and Facebook me. I always post the idea at the event and then the Zoom room. It's free to go. And actually, we were doing the live Q and A's, but uh, we have a we have a, like an idea coming in, and we'd like you guys to ask questions to a civilization curious about humanity. So they're going to be asking questions so people can actually answer questions that the aliens or extraterrestrials or whatever group comes in. They want to know more about us. So go. that's going to be part of that idea, and it's really cool. So anyways, we got that going, and that's what it is. So the second Saturday of every month, it's on Zoom. Just look for my idea. I always post it on the YouTube idea channeling as well, um, like my, which is Odyssey of Ascension. Wednesday and Friday before that Saturday, I'll post the link up there on on Zoom and how to do it. If you don't have Zoom, it's free to download. You download, you register, and you pop on there. The room holds 50 people, and you just come in and, and shoot the shit with us, just like we did here. We had a great time. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool, and I'm really happy you're doing that stuff, Roxy. I know people are going to um, skyrocket. I love you it. Know, that's what this is all about. Yeah. Yay. For sure. Cool. So, yes, please reach out to Roxy. 
and uh, check out her amazing videos on her YouTube channel um, and email her. Well, I'll repeat her email again. She said it earlier. It's rswainhart, S-W-A-I-N-H-A-R-T, at gmail.com. If you want to ask her a question or, or anything for her Q&A or schedule session, whatever you want to do. So, awesome. We already have a – somebody's asking you for a book in right now, Roxy. So, That's we're getting right. going. All right. Excellent. So let's wrap up for today. Thank you everyone for contributing wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and keep being awesome. We love you. Yay. Will do. Take care. Love you guys. Thank you all. Love you. Bye. Love you, Roxy.